Hi guys. I want to quickly come on and let you know about my stressful, scary day to day. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram, you're pretty much caught up on what's been going on. But um, little Bree was sick on Sunday. She caught my strep throat. So uh, her parents took her to the doctor on Monday. They subscribed her uh, antibiotics. And when she came to my house on Tuesday, she was doing really well. Um, we, I made sure that she was resting all day on Tuesday. We didn't do a lot of activities. We read books, you know, to keep her um, calm and relax and get lots of rest. So then today she came over and she just was not feeling it. She was so tired, very weak, very cranky. Um, she threw up, uh, she threw up all over my bed and I had to bathe her, clean her up, poor little thing. And I just knew she was getting weaker and I was noticing that she wasn't breathing very well. Now she did have a stuffed up nose, but this was something entirely different. So I called my sister, I alerted her and let her know what was going on, um, she was in pain, like she was having body aches. So I didn't leave Bree's side at all today. Um, then her dad got off work around 1230 and came over to pick her up to take her to the doctor's office. And I told him everything that had gone on, you know, today. And I said, you know, I really feel that she should just go right to the hospital well, when they took her to her doctor's office, the doctor immediately said that we need to call the ambulance because Aubrey is having uh, respiratory, respiratory issues and her breathing is not under control. Of course, that threw my sister and my brother-in-law into a panic because, you know, that's the last thing they were thinking was going to happen. So they called the ambulance and they rushed Aubrey to the ER. And then me and my mom went over there. We couldn't go see Brie because only her parents were allowed in the back. So my sister was texting me and letting me know what was going on. And I was getting told that it could have been pneumonia um, they were drawing blood, they were doing chest x-rays, they were just basically ruling out all the possibilities of what it could be. So um, me and my mom went home. Uh, my sister said, just go home. There's nothing you can do here. You can't come in the back. We're going to be here for a couple hours. Uh, they had given Brie a steroid to open up her uh, bronchial tubes so she could uh, breathe easier and she was on oxygen. So after they got her breathing uh, stable and under control, they ran more tests. And so come to find out, uh, Brie has asthma. Wow. Wow. Uh, me and my mother both have asthma. So we know exactly what Brie is going through. So she had an asthma attack. So she had to have a uh, treatment there at the hospital. Um, she has to be on an inhaler. She has to be on steroids. Um, for how long, I don't know, as far as the steroids go and the inhaler goes. Uh, not sure yet. Uh, I haven't talked to my sister. She's still at the hospital. They won't be home for another hour or so uh, before Brie gets released. So I just wanted to come on and say a huge thank you to everyone who has been praying. I know I've had a lot of people on Instagram praying for me, praying for Aubrey. You know, I know you guys love seeing my little niece in my videos and on Instagram. You know, she is like my daughter and it was so hard to leave her there at the hospital. I know her mom and dad were there, but I wanted to be by her side. But like I said, only two people could be in the back with her. So I just can't wait to see Brie. I'm waiting for her to get home so we can go over and visit her. Uh, I got to talk with her on the phone and I could tell a difference from her being in the hospital than when she was here um, at the house. So I am just so thankful that God was watching over her and that I had everyone praying for her 
Thank you, thank you. Um, at least Aubrey won't be alone in this. You know, like I said, me and my mom have asthma, so we know what is the things that, you know, Brie is going to have to face, and she'll get through it. There's, you know, it's it's something that she can live with, and we'll, we'll help her every step of the way. But I am just so relieved. I have been so on edge, and my anxiety has been up through the roof. When I came home from my mom dropping me off, I went immediately to go clean. I don't care what I was, what I had to clean, I wanted to clean it. I was mopping, I was vacuuming, I was scrubbing uh, to get my anxiety out because that's what I do when I'm worried. Um, I have to clean. It's just something that helps me. So after I was done, I needed to calm down and I grabbed Lucas and I took him into the bedroom and I changed his clothes and just a calming effect came over me and I just like I could feel my anxiety kind of lift and I just took some deep breaths and I just was praying and I just know that you know God was watching over her and she has lots of guardian angels watching over her and I knew that you know whatever it is we were going to get through it and thank God thank you God that she's okay so Again, just thank you to all of you. Thank you so much. And um, oh, I just cannot wait to go see Aubrey. But this is what I changed Lucas in today. These sweet little overalls. These are zero to three months by Koala Baby. Um, it says wolf on the pocket. It has this adorable little puppy embroidered on the leg with a little bone. And it has these little patch uh, work here and then there's a, like a little pocket and I just put these little blue socks on him these are the ones he came home with and then he's just wearing a little blue uh, Gerber t-shirt that he came home with so yeah this little boy helped mommy out today to stay calm and just just stay calm that's all oh, I just love Lucas so much He's so incredible. So incredible. And I'm just glad that Aubrey is okay. Just so, so glad she's okay. So I can't wait. Like I said, I can't wait to go see her. Um, my sister's going to call me when they get released. And uh, we'll probably go over there and take dinner um, over to them. Because they've been at the hospital since 1 o'clock. Uh, well, probably one thirty. So, yeah, it's it's been a long day for, for the whole family. So, yeah, uh, we're home, and I'm just waiting for the call, and I got my little baby boy here. Zoe's in the living room with Daddy, so uh, we're going to go join them, and, and we're going to have some dinner before we head out. But um, I just wanted to pop on and let everybody know what kind of day it's been and uh, to let everyone on Instagram who follows me here on YouTube know and for you guys who don't have Instagram to let you guys know what happened today but thank you again and um, yeah just thank you thank you all of you all right guys have a wonderful oh my gosh I don't even know what day it is Wednesday and uh, we'll see you tomorrow all right love all of you guys God bless. Toodles.